Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in the day, screensavers were an essential feature in Windows, which prevented um, burn-in on the screen in the older CRT monitors. And when obviously the LCD, the liquid crystal display monitors, um, arrived on the scene, screensavers were not that necessary. So obviously they've kind of been buried deep and deeper in Windows as an operating system. Now, in case you're unaware, you can actually still enable a screensaver in Windows 11. The feature is not turned on by default, but if you want to see slow animations on your screen after a certain period of time um, when your computer is inactive, then this is how we can enable the screensaver on Windows 11. And it's simple to do. As always, we head to our settings and we navigate to personalization. And on the personalization page, you click on lock screen. And yeah, you'll see about two thirds of the way down the page, screensaver. You click on that and there we go. And this legacy screensaver dialog and menu back in the day it used to be in the control panel where currently it's not found anymore so the only way you can get to that um, is through the settings and as you can see it's buried quite deep so here we go here's our different screensavers we've got um, the different options available you've got none which obviously is the default um, there's no screensaver then you've got 3d text and let's just have a preview of that and there we go so basically that's allows you to print a custom message as the screensaver as well uh, which you can do um, in the actual settings so for that one you can see here you can choose a font you can put in the custom text so you can change that custom text from windows to anything of your choice so you get the idea so 3d text that's the first one and then uh, the next one is blank so obviously that just gives you a blank screen Bubbles, this used to be my favorite, one of my favorites uh, back in the day. Um, I think this rolled out originally with Vista. And there we go, those are the bubbles. And then we go down Mystify. And if we do a preview of that, there we go. So those are the slow animations as mentioned on your screen, which um, back in the day prevented that so-called burning on the cathode ray. Um, the cathode ray... Um, older CRT monitors and moving on to the next that's mystify photos um obviously lets you choose if from the settings lets you uh, choose and browse for photos and you can place that as a screensaver as the name implies and ribbons and this also used to be one of my favorites back in the day and there we go. So there's the ribbon. So you get the general idea. So those are the different screensavers that are still available. And then, yeah, you can choose the time you want to wait for that to kick in. So basically, you can choose that from one minute, basically up to as many minutes as you want. And you've got on resume uh, display login screen. So you've got a couple of options. And then once you've chosen your screensaver and the time or the period you want it to become active, you click on apply, click on OK. And the next time, as in this case, after 15 minutes, then I will get that screensaver presented on my screen. So just wanted to put it out there in case you're unaware. And that's how you enable screensaver on Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.